So welcome to this presentation about uh, what's new and upcoming from Exocad. Uh, the focus of this presentation here will be what is available right now. Now, being an engineer and researcher by heart, I always love to talk about the current research and the things that are more distant and to come maybe in a couple of years. But now that we have a professional marketing department in the company, they have advised me to moderate myself and to put a bigger focus on the things that are available right now, especially this year, because we have a lot of exciting new stuff that just came out. Most importantly, the ExoCAD DempoCAD Matera release, named after the European Capital of Culture 2019, Matera in Italy. The biggest of the many highlights of the Matera release is the Smile Creator module, which is now available. And I will first say some more general things about Smile Design. The classic approach to Smile Design is to do it in 2D based on photos and outline templates. Using standard software, like for example Apple Keynote, or a specialized 2D Smile Design software. This is a good concept. Doctors like this approach. It's easy and accessible. But the result of the 2D Smile Design is an image that the lab then has to replicate in 3D. This is difficult and time consuming, and sometimes it may not even be possible given the clinical situation. So what's the alternative? Smile design in 3D, using face scans. Support for that has been available in ExoCAD software since 2009 already. It's a very good solution for tech-savvy technicians who like the technology, who take maximum advantage of the technology, and who also have the hardware. It's also worth noting that intraoral scans or model scans are typically available when planning a complex restorative case. So why not take advantage of that? However, although the prices for 3D face scanners have dropped significantly, they're still not universally available. And it's a more complex technical approach. And even though it's an optimal solution if the, for the dental technician, if he sees the face in 3D, for the patient, it may be kind of scary. Typically, you don't get a very positive reaction if you show someone his own face uh, as a 3D scan. Uh, people look more attractive on a photo than on a 3D face scan. So what we did with the Smile Creator module is to bring you the best of both worlds. So, in the Smile Creator, we provide the standard outline template editing, which is easy and accessible, but at the same time, we show the real clinical situation in 3D from different angles in the split screen view. So you can directly judge if the smile design you've just created is actually possible clinically given the patient situation. So the result of our smile design is not just the preview of the smile, this is an actual screenshot of a rendering uh, of the smile creator module, but it's also a true 3D setup which you can directly use to continue the design of the prosthetic or to print a digital wax up model, for example. And I would actually like to show you a live demonstration. So, we start the Smile Creator module. And if we have two images available, a retracted image and a smile image, we can use both. This is what I'll show here. I'll start with a retracted image. The software brings the image to 3D space as a 3D object, and then we do the 3D registration by clicking on points. And 
and then we can do fine adjustments if we want to. Keep in mind that this is, uh, this is not super critical. Uh, the accuracy here is not super cr critical. We're not talking about metrology. Uh, we're talking about uh, an aesthetic 3D. You can also rotate the 3D uh, for better matching. And then in the next step, we load the second image, the smile image. If we only have the smile image available, we can use only the smile image. We don't need both. Again, I choose two points. And the software brings the two images together. Once again, the fine, fine tuning here. Now, ideally, you would have two images uh, that are taken exactly from the same angle. But in reality, this is rarely the case, so you may get some weird effects like this one, but it's not a problem, uh, as long as the mouth area is reasonably aligned. Now we cut out the lip line. Then in the next step, we click on the patient's eyes to help the software detect the midline. And there we have our guidelines for creating the smile. Here with a golden ratio, if you want a modified golden ratio or um, some other preset, there's a variety to choose from. So um, you can add further helper lines if you so desire. For example, additional vertical lines, It's, this is really a matter of personal preference. The software offers both. You can just click next to do it really quickly and efficiently, but if you love to work with a lot of helper lines for best aesthetic result, you certainly can. In the next step, we load uh, the smile template, which is actually a true 3D library. The normal ExoCAD, DentalCAD, uh, libraries are available and then rendered in this outline view. The cool thing now is that whenever I move something here, I immediately see the result in 3D on the right. I can rotate. I can scale. Now keep in mind, I'm an electrical engineer. I'm not a dental optician. I'm sure all of you uh, can do this better than me. But this is just to show uh, the features of the software. You can also add it in 3D, like so. And um, you can also move individual teeth. A symmetry mode is also available, which will mirror the mirror your movement. There's also measurement tools where you can precisely measure uh, the perceived lengths from different angles. And you have access to the freeforming tools to further customize the shape. See how I just pull the line and immediately see the result in 3D. We then proceed to the preview image. Uh, there's different tooth colors to choose from. Um, if you want to match the color of the remaining dentition, you can also use this uh, color picker tool where you click on the darker part of the tooth and then click on the highlight and get a color matching to the remaining dentition. Uh, you can also adjust uh, the lighting to match uh, the direction of the light when the photo was taken for a more realistic effect. So the result of this smile design is now the true 3D setup, which you can directly use to proceed with the design of the prosthetic.
Okay, that's of course not the only highlight of the new Matera release. Uh, we've introduced a number of new features, including uh, the new ExoPrint tool, which simplifies the transfer of uh, restorations from our DentoCAD platform to uh, 3D printers. Again, we're establishing uh, an open uh, exchange format, an open exchange interface for uh, connecting 3D printing, printing software. Right now, this is available together with the next time printer you see here at the booth. But we're in contact with the major dental 3D printer manufacturers to add uh, support for further devices. We've also improved the support for digital pens based on the Windows Ink technology, where we now support pressure-sensitive pens. So for example, if you use the pen while free-forming, if you push harder, you add more material. The software comes with presets for a variety of Wacom devices. It's a really cool way uh, of designing, very intuitive and a lot of fun. We've also improved the face scan handling. Um, I've also previously mentioned that. Uh, this is actually a uh, face scan that was done 10 years ago here at IDS. You can see I look, uh, uh, looked a lot younger then. Uh, on a 3D MP scanner, I think it was a forty to $60,000 device. Uh, nowadays, you can get face scanners, for example, from Bellows 3D for as little as $500. Now, you can obviously load the face scan, but you can now also edit it. It's in this freeform face model. Now, you can use the smoothing tools to get rid of some wrinkles. Uh, or you could uh, just move some regions of the face scan. Now, pulling the nose is not something that is going to be the result of a dental treatment, but maybe changing the shape of the lips. That's a possible outcome. Um, oops. With the Matera release, ExoCAD has gotten yet more open. I mean, we've always been fond of open file formats like STL or PLY. Um, for technical reasons, if you save the entire CAD scene as a dental CAD file, this is a proprietary format, but we've opened it up in the sense that you can now exchange these scene files between different incarnations of the ExoCAD software. For example, if you have an installation from Amal Gebach and a generic ExoCAD version, a Schutz version, etc., you can exchange these dental CAD files. Uh, some resource chose not to participate in this compatibility and um, all closed versions of ExoCAD are intentionally not compatible. We've also provided new methods for smoother integration with intraoral scanners, where when you receive a case from the doctor that was scanned intraorally, you can get an automatic notification of the new case in the ExoCAD software. This is being implemented with uh, the Dense by Sirona range of scanners, starting from the bootcamp up to the latest prime scan. Some of you may have seen the press release about that, uh, that went out recently. However, for this setup, you still need um, to obtain a special tool from Lens by Sirona called the CEREC Connect Center Flight. A big topic, a really hot topic right now in digital dentistry are digital dentures. Here we have added support for additional production methods. Now, ExoCAD is one of the pioneers in digital dentures. Already four years ago, with uh, our partner Armand Gerber, we presented um, a very comprehensive solution to create digital dentures with no compromise on either quality or aesthetics. Um, it's still today a very good system, but it, certainly customers prefer also to use other production methods like printing the, the, uh, printing the denture base and gluing teeth in, or uh, also uh, using a two-step milling process. We also support printing of monolithic dentures as uh, tri dentures. Now, what is not yet available is the ability to 3D print the entire denture as two pieces, uh, the teeth and the gingiva separate and then glue them, glue them together. However, that will come in one of the upcoming releases. Another feature that I personally find very exciting is the jaw motion import module. Um, this has been available for a while in conjunction with the Zebras 
JMA, Jaw Motion Analyzer, but we've now added support for uh, further devices, including the ModJaw device. For, uh, this video is courtesy of ModJaw. I'll show it to you to demonstrate the capability. So essentially, we use uh, the real patient movement during the design of a prosthetic. We can also visualize the paths, and we can use the classical tools from ExoCAD, like the sectional view, to analyze the situation during the movement. This is, for me, the real next generation virtual articulator. True patient-specific dynamic occlusion. And you can see how perfectly the simulation in the software matches the actual movement. In the Matera release, we've added also support for immediate load workflows in conjunction with Exoplan as a beta feature. So if you use Exoplan and the Drill Guide Creator module, you can directly load the case in DentalCAD Matera and take advantage of the planned implant positions to design, for example, a temporary restoration. We keep adding new libraries every week. Now, so that you can stay updated, you can use our download portal to get installation of instruction and actually download links for uh, the latest implant libraries. This is available to those who have an update contract or who have a flex license. You need to enter your serial number as you uh, proceed to the download. We're also launching uh, a new web shop where those customers of resellers who chose to participate in this web shop uh, can purchase modules and update or upgrade contracts online. Um, this is only for updates and modules. You cannot purchase new licenses as we want to maintain, of course, the good relationships we have with our resellers. The pilot phase for German customers is launching today. Commercially, and I won't get into too many details, we've uh, introduced new bundle offers where uh, you can get uh, a new license with a large amount of modules for a highly discounted uh, price. The so-called ultimate bundle has the highest discount. And there's also the implant bundle and the advanced lab bundle with different add-on add uh, add modules included. The opposite of the bundles are actually the standalone modules, which can be useful if in your lab you have a dedicated workstation, for example, where you do only removables. So as an example, the partial CAD module or the full denture module are now available as standalone software installations, uh, which results in a lower cost for such dedicated uh, workstations. This is available as flex license, subscription-based only. Already in Several months ago, we've launched the Exoplan Matera release. Um, since I mainly want to talk of the things that are really new here, um, I just show a quick video and some comments, and provide some comments without getting too much into detail. Um, so, in Exoplan, you can visualize, plan, and create. We provide the market-leading DICOM loading and visualization speed. You can zap through different intensity levels, or you can switch to an X-ray view, which you can also rotate or change the contrast. You can align DICOM with 3D scan data from a model scan. Uh, those of you who are familiar with the ExoCAD DentalCAD platform will really feel at home in ExoPlan because it's a very familiar, easy user experience for you. And as usual, the wizard guides you step by step through the process. Of course, ExoPlan provides prosthetic driven implant planning where you place your tooth using the tools you already know from ExoCAD and then uh, add the implants. Over 250 implant systems are supported and over 2,000 prosthetic parts like titanium bases or customer buttons are also supported, which you can directly visualize during the implant planning. The software automatically generates reports for automatic documentation and it provides maximum uh, flexibility in the way you design your workflow between your lab, your dentist, 
who does the approval, who does what, who does the design, who does the production. You have complete flexibility. And of course, as I've mentioned it, Exoplan is designed for best integration with Dentalcad and Matera. It provides the possibility to design surgical guides for in-house production that you can print or mill immediately. Um, Exoplan comes with a very simple pricing model. It's also subscription-based since this is a medical device software that must always be under maintenance, but there's no click fees or per case fees. Once you have your license, you can design as many drill guides and export them as you like. Now, some comments on the market launch. As I've said, Exoplan as an implant planning software is a medical device software, so uh, the regulatory environment is slightly more complex. Uh, Exoplan with Guide Creator is available since November 2018, selected EU markets, Germany, Austria, Switzerland also, so the Dutch region, uh, the UK, Belgium, France, Poland, and outside the EU in Australia and Mexico. And we are now preparing the market launch for uh, further countries, Italy and Spain are next in just a few weeks. And more countries will follow afterwards. Not all resellers will carry Exoplan as the uh, requirements to the resellers are a bit more strict due to the medical device regulations, which includes visual processes. Now, a small outlook at what's to come next. We've also upgraded our ChairSide CAD solution, ChairSide CAD 2.3 Matera, which adds support for further modules. Um, the implant module will be available, the model creator module will be available, and the smile creator module that I've just demonstrated. And um, it will also feature as an add-on the jaw motion import, which are, where I've also shown the videos, and our DICOM viewer. We also provide a new mill manager tool for perfect machine integration. So the mill manager is to milling machines what the Windows print dialog is to 2D printers. You use it to manage your, uh, your queue. If there's a problem with the machine slash the printer, uh, you get a notification. For example, the machine's out of coolant. You can stop the machine, start the machine, and very easy to use, accessible user interface right from your CAD station. Finally, a small outlook at what's to come next without getting into too much detail. Um, we get many requests, of course, for the author range of products. We start with the study creator, uh, study model creator module, which is available as a beta version to resellers in the Matera release. Uh, it allows you to design a variety of styles of study models like ABO, etc. And as a further outlook, um, we are providing here at the booth a preview of the advanced author features which will come later, so definitely not this year, including virtual setup as a basis for bracket placement and aligner treatments, um, the creation of study models of the different steps, and extensive tools for analysis and measurement. Okay, that concludes my presentation for today.